right, so the next strategy that we're going to talk about with marketing and advertising is bandit signs. Now, first, let's define it. What is a bandit sign? It's one of those little signs that you see all along the roadway when you're driving. Um, the cool thing about bandit signs is they're very, very, very inexpensive. You can usually get a box of 100 signs for under 100 bucks, and the little foot stakes are usually pretty inexpensive as well. Like it's usually like a less than a buck to two for an entire sign and the stake. Let's talk about the message first. On a bandit sign, what I would put on there is we buy houses and a phone number, or we buy houses fast with a phone number. In all of the marketing that we've been talking about, the really important thing is a call to action in a very clear way for the people who are taking action to find you. What you do, we buy houses, phone number, simple. Let's talk about placement and talk about some strategy. First, placement. Bad places to put bandit signs, gated communities, places where people usually don't have a lot of need to sell something quickly. Good places to put bandit signs, areas where you actually wanna buy houses. Um, if you put them in absolute rundown areas, people are going to call you from absolute rundown areas. If you put them kind of in the areas that are blue collar, that it's a good place to own either a rental or there's a lot of flips happening kind of in that marketplace or in that area, that's a great place to put bandit signs. When I first started, I put out bandit signs every Friday. Frank, why Friday? Because usually that's when the code enforcement people have already gone home and they will be up the rest of the day Friday, all day Saturday, Sunday, and then usually they're gone by Monday. So my question that I get all the time is when do you pick your signs up? Never, but we'll come back to that in a second. First things first, where you put them and when you do it. I put them in front of places where I think motivated people go. So I wouldn't put them in front of the nicest mall in your town or Nordstrom's or Saks Fifth Avenue, but I would put them in front of McDonald's, Walmarts, and places that bring people who are on a budget, because that's a lot of times who your buyer, who your sellers are going to be, number one. Number two, Put them in places that are somewhat discreet so the court code enforcement people don't see them. But at the same time, you gotta be careful if you put them on, you can't put them on private property, so don't do that. So you have to like pick the right spots, usually in easements. The new home builders in your town, there is no question in my mind, they pollute the roadways with signs. Now I used to work for one of them, so I understand how this works. They would typically have someone show up at around 5 to 7 p.m., pending the time of the year on Friday, to put the signs out, and they pick them up on Sunday. I didn't have time to pick them up. I just didn't want to do it, and sometimes the sign would be there for months. So what I would do is use a Google Voice number. Now, this is a tricky strategy, and it's done purposely. The Google Voice number is very hard to track, so if you ever get in trouble, just change the number. I'm not kidding. That's what we used to do. Now, <laughs> we don't do it very much anymore, but that is a strategy that does work, and you can drive everyone to a voicemail, and with the voicemail, they will leave you message, messages, and in many, many, many instances, people that use bandit signs today still do get great leads from it. We've used bandit signs to buy houses, to sell houses, and actually to hire people in our office. One of our best salespeople we found on a direct mail sign. I'm not kidding. So they do work. But you have to be mindful of the rules, and we've gotten a few calls from code enforcement. So if you want to use the slippery way that I explained, you can. Or if you want to face the music, if you're doing it incorrectly, you have to do that as well. But the cool thing about them is they're very effective, and they're very, very, very inexpensive to put up. Usually it's just a big black marker writing something with what you do, and a phone number. All right. Next time we're going to talk about some more strategies on marketing. See you soon.